cultural implications of the planning process. This is not just about a park um, and how it's designed, but it's also a matter of how it represents our community. And Harvey Milk did represent something to us years back, and we'd like to see that continued. Uh, when I moved here 29 years ago, it was already the, one of the most expensive cities in the country to live in, but it was still possible to be in your 20s and move into an apartment and maybe have a roommate or two and finally get settled. I have a gay cousin from uh, Central Florida who was just here a couple of weeks ago. He's a school teacher getting a basically nice salary for his age. Uh, he really wants to move here as well, but he, he really knows that it's going to be a struggle to get his foot in the door. And he, by the way, was very appalled by the fact that benches were removed here. Um, I think we really have to consider the fact that as we're planning this, this plaza, that we have input from the whole community because it really needs to re represent the whole community. And we take into account the fact that we have to have a community that still continues to welcome our people here. You know, um, all of us, I'm sure, have exposed, uh, experienced homophobia in our lives. Some of us may have even had to leave home because it was so severe. There's still young people coming here for the same reason we came here. And for us to sort of tune that out and think it's just now an inconvenience, it's not good enough. We really have to think in the whole big picture to really represent what Harvey Milk's Plaza is, stands for. 